This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. In this video, we will discuss how to draw a flow chart repair T. So it's a problem, pro problem solving practice. So you can see that you have flow chart and it has symbols like terminals, starting symbol, oval shape, and ending symbol where we have written stop. So these are called terminals, starting and the ending symbol. Now, for making a T, you people know very well that you must have the ingredients to make it. So, for making a T, you must have the tea leaves, water, sugar, milk, and heat for burning and boiling the water. So, this is uh, right after drawing the symbol of oval for starting the flow chart, which is very important. The second symbol you can see on the screen is the parallelogram symbol and here the parallelogram right after the start symbol is used to take the input so we must need to give input for this whole flow chart process so here we have used given tea leaves water sugar milk and heat so these are the input which we are going to give to this flow chart for further processing so we have mentioned it in the parallelogram symbol so right after taking all these ingredients which are necessary to make a tea we have used the third symbol which is a processing symbol rectangle so here we have mentioned add heat to water so right after getting and giving the input of all the ingredients we have used this processing symbol rectangle to show that there is some process is being performed. So all these one, two, three, and four rectangle symbols are used to show process. So the first process which we are going to perform right after taking all the input ingredients, we will first the first process we will perform is to heat the water to boil the water so we must burn the water in order to boil it the second process right after heating the water is add tea leaves in boiling water so this is the second step it is also a process symbol a rectangle because whenever we need to show and represent the process we need to use the rectangle symbol so right after boiling the water we have to wait for 10 minutes so it's all again a process so all these processes are being represented in rectangle so we have to wait for the 10 minutes and the last process which is used to make a tea is add sugar and milk in the mixture of boiled water so this is the last process which is being performed in order to make a tea and all these processes here viewers are represented with the help of rectangle which is a process symbol so in the end after this is the last step the last process which is used to make a tea so after that you can see the stop the oval symbol which is is used to show that now this flowchart is end, ended. So this is the whole flowchart, a very simple flowchart which is used to prepare a tea. And how it is performed, you can always represent it with the help of flowchart. With the help of this, you can make a computer program depending upon this graphical structure, the graphical representation of a computer program for problem solving. So that's all. Thanks for watching.